Okay, let's prepare our wet batter. Add one and one half cups of spelt flour, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of oregano, and stir all that together and add some spring water until you make a batter of the consistency right here. You can have a thick pancake batter, but I prefer to keep mine a little thin. For the dry batter, I just use one cup of spelt flour so that I can just add to when I get low. Um, you can season this dry batter, but I did the mushrooms and the wet batter, so that'll be enough. Okay, I know you see me um, putting the mushrooms in the wet batter for a while. I would not sit them in the wet batter too long because mushrooms like to absorb water, so I was just Put them in the wet batter then um, go to the dry batter so you can prepare them for frying and if you do sit them in the batter you're gonna have to go back and add another layer that's why I had them rest for a little bit on the paper towel then I floured them again and here I'm just um, frying them in a very shallow fry um, and just fry them until they are golden brown I don't like to use too much oil because I don't want the oil to oil to be absorbed into the mushrooms. I like to take the time to say thank you to all my followers for your likes and your comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when a new video is dropped. Okay, let's prepare our vegetables. Um, right here, I am cutting the tops off the red pepper so that I can remove the seeds easily. And then um, I slice it down the middle and slice the white parts off of the red pepper. I've been told that um, the white part of a pepper can be bitter in taste. And I just don't like the looks of it. So that's why I remove it. Um, if you like that part, you can keep it. And here I am slicing the onion. I'm not going to dice it up. It's just a rough chop, um, medium size, because we're going to use this like a stir fry when we add it back to the pan to fry with our oyster mushroom. Okay, we're ready to create our um, stir fry with our vegetables. So I've added some grapeseed oil to the pan and I'm just going to stir fry the red pepper and onion for about three minutes to get um, to allow it to cook down a little bit what I want to keep a crisp in the vegetables.
Okay, once your vegetables have cooked down to your liking, go ahead and add the oyster mushrooms to the pan. Um, then we're going to add the sweet and spicy sauce to the mushrooms and the vegetables. And we're going to remove it from heat. At this point, we're just combining all the ingredients in the pan so that they are coated evenly with our sweet and spicy sauce. And now you're ready to plate and so add your oyster mushrooms to a plate and garnish with your spring onions and enjoy.